Hello there and welcome to the new tutorial where I will going to show you how you can have the different filter types. So we have three different types of filters which is the visual filter which is specific to a visual. You have the page filter which impact all the visualization that is present in the page and page all filter that means all the pages which is present in your report the filter impact will be on all the different pages. So we will see these three different types of filters. So you will have no problem applying it whenever you want to apply based on your custom needs. Now this sheet, which where I am keeping all my Power BI specific tutorial, you can find it in the description and based on the title and the link given, you can jump directly to that particular tutorial. Also, if you want to search across my channel, then you can come to this report link, which is a Google Data Studio report link. And from this search, you can uncheck, type the search and then check it back to filter the visualization. For example, if I want only the Tableau specific video, I search the Tableau, enable this, come out and will show you all the Tableau specific tutorial, which is quite a few, <laughs> 234. So let's go ahead over here and uh, see this particular visual filter so just wanted to provide you a quick info if if you want to look for some more tutorials all right so here we are within the visualization and i have this filter pane which is enabled for us so by default you have these three panes like the field visualization and filter which we get it from here as a part of the default setting when you open up the power yeah, but if you don't see it, you can actually go inside here in the view and make sure this filter is enabled. So if you uncheck this, the filter is moved. Maybe in your case, if you are not getting it by default, but you want to bring in, you can just click on filter and the filter is coming. Now let's select a visualization. So we'll select here this visualization. So what it has is the three fields. You have the product category. So filter in this visual present as product category region which is part of the visual and the sale based on which the values are populated or graphed uh, on the on this particular chart. Now let's say you want to have the a filter which is specific to this visualization. For example, we have the customer segment. So what we can do is bring it over here in the in this section, which is filter on this visual. And now let's try to make a change so when i'll make a change you will see that only this particular chart will going to change not rest of the chart so if i change it to consumer you will see only consumer is changing if i change it to home office small business or whatever change i want to make based on the filter only this visualization will change so the very helpful in scenarios where we want to have an impact of a filter only to one particular visualization which is present in the page now let's clear this visualization filter from here and uh, remove it to move on to the filter on this page. So this entire page should be filtered based on the filter present here. So what I'll do is bring the customer segment and put it over here. Now, if I select consumer, you will see that all the visualization will be changed. So if I select consumer, you see the impact. Similarly, if I choose customer, uh, sorry, the corporate or home office, all the visualization present in this will going to change according to the filters or the selection I'm making. So this is about the, um, the filter on a single page, but you have the third option, which is filters on all pages. So what you can do is bring in the customer segment over here. And this filter is now going to filter visualization present all these different pages. So if I just select consumer, you will see that this, this is going to be impacted. So for example, from here, if I choose corporate, you will see that this visualization is changing. Same is the case is going to be here. Similarly, if I come to the scatter chart, if I select small business, you will see that visualization is changing on each and every page. So this is a very helpful section, which is useful to filter at the various different levels that we need for the purpose of our visualization development or the dashboard development. So that's very quickly about the different level of filters, which you have in the Power BI. And I hope by now, after this, you will be able to do the right justification with your visuals based on the needs you have 
from from your business so now i'll meet you in the next video